Tired of taking too much time to prepare a nice healthy meal at home? Well, the chef's rival is going to take your prep time and cut it in half. It is the ultimate chopping and mixing machine. Anything that you are preparing at home right now, you can do a lot quicker, easier, and healthier. Nuts for baking, potatoes for hash browns, soups and stews, even cooked meat. Do you like fresh coleslaw? Well, you can make it really easily in The Chef's Rival. All you do is load all the ingredients in. That's cabbage, carrots, mayonnaise. Just put it all in there. No, really. It's okay. And what you're going to do next is you're going to lock on the top by turning it clockwise. And the next thing you do is a secret behind it. All you do is rock the handle. And do you see what that little notion is doing, how it's breaking everything up? You just rock it until it's easy for you to turn, and you're going to go all the way around. And in a matter of seconds, you've got your coleslaw chopped up and ready to serve. You see how there's no large chunks of cabbage? And especially on the bottom here, there's no milky residue. Now each chef's rival is made out of a kitchenware plastic that is microwave safe, but it's also dishwasher safe. So when you're done with your food prep, just throw everything except for this lid right in the top shelf. Now on the side here, there are handy measuring units. It holds four cups, but they're actually molded into the kitchenware plastic, so they'll never wash off or rub off. And on the bottom, we've got a rubber O-ring, so this will never move across your countertop when you're using it. But this is my favorite part. It's our brand new Master Cut 2 blades. Now they're made out of surgical grade stainless steel, and they're very sharp, so be careful. Now one of my favorite things to make in The Chef's Rival is mashed potatoes. Just put your potatoes in there whole, hot, add the milk, add a little butter, lock on the top, and just rock the handle. And in just a few spins, you've got your mashed potatoes. Now everybody's least favorite thing to chop in the kitchen is onions. Now the joke is I've shed more tears chopping onions than I have lost girlfriends. Thank you for your concern, everybody. Uh, but another thing that I know people hate chopping in the kitchen, because I hate it, is celery because of the strings. And this is actually something uh, that you need to know if you have an electric. Read the fine print. Most of them will tell you you cannot put celery in there because it wraps around the blades. But it's fine in here. So the next thing you do, of course, is rock the handle. And if you want a nice chunky vegetable for a soup or a stew or a stir fry, just turn the handle three or four times and you're going to have a nice chunky vegetable that you can throw right into the wok. How many recipes at home call for chopped onion? Like every single one. Uh, so if you want to chop, you just keep turning the handle. And in a few turns of the handle, you're going to refine it down to a nice chopped onion that you can put on top of a hamburger or a hot dog. And this is the point where I ask the parents if you've got a picky eater at home. If you want to hide vegetables, like in a meatloaf or a meatball, and you want to mince it, just keep turning the handle. Again, all the fumes are going to stay locked inside. And the only tears that you'll shed are tears of joy. The union makes me say that. Did we get it that time? Because I don't want to have to say it again. The salsa is what made the chef's rival so popular to begin with, and we're going to do it in 60 seconds. Uh, we're going to start off with a uh, clove of garlic. You want to make sure you're using Roma tomatoes, a little bit of onion, and lime juice just to give it some nice authentic flavor. Now some recipes call for lemon. If you want the lemon notes, just use cilantro. And make sure guys you're using kitchen shears because you don't want to crush this fragile leaf into the cutting board. Uh, next, my secret ingredient, yellow bell pepper. Now I use the yellow because it tastes really good, nice and bright flavors, but also it's got more vitamin C and antioxidants. We're going to add a little bit of jalapeno, the heat. You guys feeling wild or mild? We'll do about yay. And then a little bit of salt. If you have uh, tomatoes, you need salt. We're going to lock on the top, again, to get that nice stable base. And then what do we do next, everybody? That's right, we rock the handle. You just turn the handle a few times, let's say just about there and you've got your nice pico de gallo that you can eat with a fork but we all know salsa is the dip for a chip so we're going to go a little finer again just turn the handle a few more times and you've got a wonderful salsa that you've made fresh that has no artificial flavors or preservatives in it and this is a million times better than anything you're going to get in a jar and it's better for you too 
There are eight ingredients in here and everything is evenly mixed and processed. Each chef's rival comes with some wonderful additional attachments. These are the whipping blades. You're going to love them. You'll use them every single day. They're for things like egg white omelets, meringues, whipped creams, homemade salad dressings. You can pour it right out of the pour spout onto your griddle or your Belgian waffle maker and there's no mess, which is really nice. Now I want you to notice that every one time I'm turning this handle, these blades are going around four and a half times. Now do the math. With two blades, that is like nine chops with a razor sharp knife every one time that you're turning the handle. So think about all the time that you're saving there. And this is one of my favorite attachments. It's called a salad spinner basket and it's for things that are hard to wash by hand. Now if you're not familiar with how it works, what you do is you load your berries, your cilantro, whatever, into the basket, add a little bit of water, and then you just spin to wash, pour the water out, spin to dry. Another really cool thing about the machine is this little insert for the pour spout. This is a gravy separator. Now for those of you that make gravies at home, you know the fat and the skin always rise to the top. But when you put this in the pour spout, it enables you to pour from the bottom. So the good stuff ends up on your food and the fat and the skin stay on top. Now it also comes with a handy recipe booklet, which is really great because all 20 of these recipes in here are unique to the machine. And don't worry, the salsa is on page one. Now you also get the Master Cut 2 surgical grade stainless steel blades. Now these have an unconditional lifetime guarantee, never to bend, break, rust, or go dull. Each chef's rival comes with a four cup mixing bowl, your chopping blades, your whipping blades, and the salad spinner basket, as well as the recipe booklet with over 20 recipes and the warranty on the Master Cut blades. Chef's Rival is the ultimate chopping and mixing machine. Euro Gourmet, bringing out the chef in you.